Decision tree visualization can be used to illustrate how underlying data predicts a chosen target and highlights key insights about the decision tree. Decision trees support discovery of interaction among multiple predictors and therefore result in deeper insights than the drivers. In this video, you will see how a decision tree can provide insights to predictors affecting customer lifetime value. In this video, customer claim data from the insurance samples will be used to create a decision tree. Decision trees support discovery of interaction among multiple predictors and therefore deeper insights than the drivers. Providing a target, the algorithm searches across all other data fields and adds them to the model to improve its strength in predicting the target values. The search across different predictors is iterative. After the search adds one predictor, the search continues to add the next predictor that improves the model. In this analysis, I want to see what factors affect customer lifetime value. This is the worth of a customer over the entire relationship with a business. From customer analysis, customer lifetime value is dropped into the target slot. A tree is drawn. The leftmost box represents all policies. Hovering over it, I can see that I have the average customer lifetime value for all 9,134 policies in my data set. Policies has been identified in the model as having the greatest predictive strength. Moving to the nodes to the right, policies has now been broken out into groups. Less than two policies, two to three policies, and greater than three policies. Each node has been color-coded as to the number of policies in that group. The middle node for two policies is the darkest. It has the highest number of policies. It also has the highest average customer lifetime value. This insight might lead me to investigate how I can get customers with one policy to take out an additional policy as this is a predictor of their increased lifetime value. Moving further right, luxury car and luxury SUV has the highest customer lifetime value in this set of nodes. I might use this insight to further drive analysis on how many one policy customers drive luxury cars or SUVs, and I can focus on them initially to take out an additional policy. If I want to reduce the information shown on a decision tree, I can click a node to collapse it. This concludes the video on how to use decision trees. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.